In your life today, have you also become spiritually dumb and deaf? Out of the world's population, there are millions of human beings who are deaf and dumb. Out of them, majority are said to be born deaf and dumb. Others have become so due to different accidents during their lifetime. Those who are deaf and dumb use a sign language to communicate. Such individuals face many irritations and frustrations in their early life because they cannot communicate fast with the rest of the world. Most people with such disabilities become introverts in life. Therefore, some of them resist social connectivity and face-to-face -face socialization. The inability to speak with one's family and friends may result in social isolation. Today, we have medical equipment and mobile applications to support such people. However, it is our duty to show special care and concern for such deaf and dumb individuals. Today's Gospel brings us the incident of Jesus healing a deaf and dumb person. We can never imagine the amount of suffering this deaf and dumb man went through his lifetime. He could not hear the voice of his mother, his father and his siblings. Also, he could not properly respond to them. Now, when Jesus came to the territory of Decapolis, people brought this man to Jesus for healing. Then. This deaf and dumb man allowed Jesus to take him away from the crowd. He allowed Jesus to put his finger into his ears. He allowed the divine spittle to be placed on his tongue. When he allowed Jesus to do all these, he heard the divine voice of Jesus, Ephata, which means be opened. Next moment, his hearing was restored and his tongue was loosed. When Jesus said, be opened, this born dumb and deaf man spoke plainly. Through this miracle, Jesus tells us that when we open up ourselves to him and when we allow him to touch us, God brings miracles into our lives. In today's first reading, Prophet Isaiah announces that the Lord would restore physical defects of people and give them good health. He says that the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unsealed. Then will the lame leap like a heart, and the tongue of the dumb sing and shout. Through Prophet Isaiah, Lord gave hope to the people of Israel who were in Babylonian exile. In a figurative language, Isaiah says that the ears of the deaf will be opened and the tongues of the dumb will sing. God would touch and take away the ailments of his people when they are open to his love. We find the fulfillment of this prophecy in the New Testament, especially in today's Gospel. Our humanity today has become deaf and mute as a result of our sinfulness. In other words, we have become spiritually deaf and dumb because our minds are not open to the voice of God. In our life today, we have become confused with a lot of distractions. What works in our mind is the pressure at workplace, deadlines of our assignments, struggles with the cost of living, bitterness, disappointments and heartbreaks. Because of all these distractions, we are spiritually deaf and dumb today. Since we are spiritually dumb, we don't speak publicly about our Catholic faith, about the church teaching and about Jesus Christ. Since we are spiritually deaf, our ears are close to the word of God. At the end of the Sunday Mass, most of the faithful do not know what the message of that particular Sunday was. Also, we are deaf to the cries and lamentations of the suffering human beings. We don't feel their plight at this difficult moment since we are spiritually deaf. In our day-to-day -day life, our mouths are not open to share the word of God and the good news of Christ, but they are always open to gossip, criticism and filth. This is called spiritual dumbness. Today, Jesus invites us to open our ears to his words of forgiveness and love. So, let us open up our hearts to Jesus Christ so that God might dwell in our lives. Let's pray. O oh Lord, open our ears and lips to your divine word. <laughs> 